Hi, Yogi, it's Bri, and welcome to this 15-minute feel-good practice where we're gonna feel great through our yoga practice. Make sure you have two blocks and a strap, and let's get started. We're gonna start in Sukhasana with your right shin in front of your left. Flex your feet and make sure that you're creating more of a diamond shape with your legs rather than pulling the heels in. Take a deep inhalation as you take your hands onto your knees and lift your chest up nice and high. Inhale fully, fill your lungs up. And as you exhale round, Sit all the way back onto the sacrum, straighten your arms and draw your chin to your chest, stretching the muscles along the spine. And again, inhale, lift your heart up high, push the knees back with your hands, lift up, drawing the shoulder blades down, gazing up. Exhale, round. Rolling all the way back onto the upper glutes, arms straight, chin to chest. Two more like that. Inhale to lift. And exhale to round. One more. Inhale, lift. Up as high as you can. Back bending over your shoulder blades. Exhale, round. Really spreading the shoulder blades across the back. Drawing your chin to your chest. Inhale, rising up into a neutral position. Reach your arms up. And exhale, fold forward over your legs. Bringing your forehead down either to the ground or to your forearms if you want to use your forearms as a pillow. If you can't quite fold and you feel a little bit more rounded, just sit up a little bit and practice lengthening the spine, sending your sits bones back more into an anterior pelvic tilt, tilting the pelvis back. If you're all the way in the fold, just begin to sway your torso from side to side, using the movement to release all of that tension from your day or from your habitual day. Maybe it's the morning, so you might be releasing tension from sleep. And then inhale, rising all the way up to seated and just switching sides, left shin in front of the right. And take your hands onto your knees. Four cat-cow variations here. Inhale, lift your heart up high. Fill your lungs up. And exhale, stick out your tongue as you round. <sighs> Inhale, fully lift. Stick out the tongue. Exhale, round. <sighs> Inhale, lift. And exhale, lion's breath. One more, inhale. Biggest back bend yet. And exhale. Inhale to a neutral spine, reaching your arms up, keeping your feet flexed. Exhale, folding all the way down. Whatever variations you took on the other side, take them here. Maybe you need a block underneath the forehead or you're practicing sitting tall and sending the hips back. Take the arms forward as you inhale, begin to sway from side to side. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold for a brief moment down through center. And then inhale, rising all the way up to seated. Sending your legs back behind you and coming into downward facing dock. Using your down dog to find added length in your calves and your hamstrings. Using those strong arms to send the hips up and back and the navel drawing in, the low belly in to find a bit more space in the low back. Bring your feet together. Shorten your down dog just a little bit and inhale, reach your right leg up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. Lift the right knee up towards the sky as you point your right toes and see if you can really keep that left heel as heavy as possible into the mat. 
especially since you shorten your stance, it might be a little bit easier. Lifting your right knee up just a bit more to find a deeper stretch in the calf and the hamstring of the left side. Deep inhalation here. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your right foot forward. Place your left knee down onto the ground, keeping your right knee in, so don't let it splay out. Bring both of your hands to the inside of the right knee. Now from here, see how far you can move your left knee back, just getting that added stretch now into the hip flexors and the quadricep. If this isn't enough sensation, then lower down onto your forearms. Now what feels good for me when I have a short amount of time to practice is to target all of the areas of my body that typically get tight through sleeping or through sitting or driving, whatever it is that we do during the day that isn't yoga. And for me, my hip flexors and my quads, my hamstrings, those get pretty tight. And then push down through the hands if you're on the forearms, so lift up back onto your hands. And from here, just step back into Downward Facing Dog. Shorten your stance just a little bit. It'll make it a little easier and actually help you feel really great in this next pose. Bring your feet together and inhale, reach your left leg up and back. Bend the knee, open the hip. Now working on that right hamstring, do your best to keep your shoulders squared, your navel lifted. As you lift the left knee up, really begin to press down firmly through the right heel. Whether or not it touches the ground doesn't matter. Just think right heel heavy. Draw the outer right hip back and into the midline and feel that right hamstring open up. Inhale and exhale, bring your left knee to your nose. Step your left foot forward between your hands. Bring your right knee down and take both hands down to the inside of your left foot. Keeping the left knee in so don't let it splay out, just move your right knee back until you feel a decent amount of sensation or stretch in the front of that right hip and thigh. You can stay here or lower down onto your forearms to deepen that stretch, not only now in that right leg, but also in the left leg, inner groin and hamstring. Breathing here, deep breaths. Inhale, rise up onto your hands. Take your hands out now wide, framing your left foot. Lift your right knee up and step back into downward facing dog. And let's just take one clearing vinyasa, end up on our belly. Inhale forward into plank. Exhale, chaturanga, lowering all the way down. Rise up into sphinx position on your forearms. Having your elbows shoulders distance, your hands out wide. Roll the inner thighs up towards the sky just to find freedom around the sacrum. And begin to pull your hands back towards your feet. Notice that as you pull your hands back, your chest moves through the gateway of your shoulders. I can even feel my torso getting longer here. Lifting your navel, pulling a little bit more. Take a deep inhalation here. Lift the chest, push down through the elbows, and exhale, lower all the way down onto your forehead. Taking your hands back, with your hands flat down next to your floating ribs, hug your elbows in and inhale, push down through your hands, lift the knees and the thighs up into upward facing dog. Exhale, child's pose. And then take your fingertips underneath your shoulders. Inhale, lift up to seated. Grab two blocks and place them at the front of your mat the medium height, and have them a bit more narrow than your shoulders. Then coming into a tabletop position with your elbows on the blocks and your hands in prayer. The first step, so what we're going to do here is really begin to open up the sides of our body and free up our shoulders a little bit because we're going to take a Dhanurasana right after this. From here, you're going to move your knees back. Dip your chest down and let your hands rise up into a prayer position. Make sure that your elbows end up at the center of the block so that they don't tip off. Push down through the elbows 
Inhale. And exhale, let the chest drop down, but keep your elbows hugging in. Stretching the lats, the serratus, and really just allowing for that space to open up in your chest. Inhale. Exhale, push down through the elbows, rise back up, and move the blocks out of the way. Come back down onto your belly. Now, I feel really great when I do some heart opening, some sort of energizing back bend. Back bends are wonderful energizers, so hopefully you feel the same way. Join me by bringing your forehead down, bending your knees, reaching back with your hands for your ankles, flexing your feet, and using the power of your legs first, push the shins back to lift the chest up. Then point your toes, lift the heels up and the knees up off the ground. Inhale, open across the shoulders, maybe a little smile, deep breath. And exhale, release all the way down. Great job. Release your legs back, your arms back, shake your hips out from side to side. Hmm. Turn to the other side of your face just to balance out your neck. Shake the hips. Then inhale onto your forehead. Take your fingertips underneath your shoulders and push yourself up to a seated position. Grabbing a hold of your blocks once again, we're going to use this time to open our front body a little bit more. If you're pretty flexible and you're looking for some adventure in this practice to really open up and feel great, you'll go the tallest height. If you know that the back bends tend to hurt your low back or your shoulders are a little bit tighter, you'll take both blocks the medium height. Sitting in front of your blocks, sending your legs out in front of you. Hold on to that first block behind you, lay back and place it right at the center of your spine beneath the shoulder blades. So part of the block is on the shoulder blades. Then drop your head back so that the other block is supporting the back of your head. Open your arms out wide, bring the soles of your feet together, drop the knees open, and let the blocks and gravity do their work. Close your eyes. Take a deep inhalation to expand the chest and sigh it out. And just take a few breaths here. Letting each inhalation help you find space and length, help invigorate the back bend. And each exhalation to support it. So letting the navel draw in just slightly, keeping the low back nice and long. Couple more breaths. Inhale, bring your knees together. And as you exhale, curl your chin to your chest, roll onto that left elbow and move the blocks off to the side. Make sure they're within reach. Lie all the way down onto your back. Keeping your knees bent in a bridge position. So your feet hips distance. Push down through your feet, grab a block, lift your hips up and place the block underneath your sacrum, either the medium height or the tall way, okay? Just depending on what feels good in your body. I don't want you to be feeling any pain here. So if you feel sharp pain or sensation that's just not bearable, lower down to the medium height. If you're on the medium height, it's likely that you can't interlace your fingers around the block. So just move from shoulder to shoulder, coming high up onto the shoulders and just hold on to the sides of the mat with your hands. If you can interlace your fingers around the block, go ahead and do so. Draw your right knee into your chest. Extend your right leg straight up towards the sky, flexing your right foot. 
Inhale. And exhale, using the engagement of your core to slowly lower your right heel all the way down to the mat with the right leg straight. Now we're working on releasing the tension from the hip flexors. This feels really good in my body. I do a lot of hip flexion in my daily life. I sit in my car and drive my kids around. So this is such a feel-good pose for me. Then draw your left knee into your chest. For me, whenever I pull the knee in, it actually deepens the stretch on the opposite side. So if you can balance here and grab a hold of the left knee with your hands and give it a little pull into the chest, you might be able to feel a deeper stretch on the right side. Then release the hold with the hands. Make sure you're interlacing your fingers underneath your body again. Inhale, reach your left leg straight up towards the sky. Flex the foot. And exhale, navel draws in to support the lowering of your left leg. Left heel down. Try to roll both inner thighs down towards the mat. Both legs are straight. Take a deep inhalation. Draw your right knee into your chest. Now deepening the stretch on the left side. If you want to grab that right knee with your hands and pull it in, feel free to do so. Deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Make sure to interlace your fingers underneath your body. Once again, getting high up onto the shoulders. Pull both knees into your chest and extend both legs straight up towards the sky. Flex your feet. This is a great way to get the feeling and the benefits of an inversion without working too hard. And those benefits are increased circulation, calming the nervous system, all things that we need in this busy world. Inhale. And exhale, bend your knees, slowly lower your feet back down onto the mat. Push down through the feet, lift the hips up, and remove the block out of the way. Bring your pelvis all the way down to your mat. Take your feet as wide as the mat and let your knees drop in. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let it go. I hope you feel wonderful. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste.